daughter can get in the house when she comes home. I guess this is more going to be like a little bit of a vlog and informational thing this time, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Um, anywho, we're going to talk a little bit, excuse me, I'm walking through my house, um, just pick the kids up, you know, life afternoon type of thing. But anyway, I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about, um, I guess I've got a, I've got a lot of questions about on post, like, housing stuff letting the dog in a lot of questions about on post like um housing hey luna calm down are you doing a youtube video mom? yes i'm doing a youtube video right now hey luna um yeah anyway i've done um a little bit of information Ooh. on it but i've gotten a couple questions from people asking me a little more about it. Why have you guys been switching my chairs around? Mario, to that. Give me a minute, y'all. Literally, this is like super raw footage type stuff. I'm like, I haven't had time to set up anything. I just literally walked in the door. And I had gotten more emails about, excuse me, I'm sitting in my kitchen. I had gotten more emails about um, housing questions and stuff. So, I decided I was gonna answer this. Hey, you guys like my shirt? Isn't it cute? Thick thighs save lives. <laughs> okay, so anyway, today's video. Um, again, thanks for you guys for coming and checking out another one of my videos, people that do. Thanks for the questions that you guys send me. Um, I love answering you guys' questions, connecting with everyone. So, my dog is like sniffing all over my daughter. <laughs> Luna, Stop. enough. Yes, everybody loves you. Um, our dog is okay. Go get, go eat your um lunch, afternoon school lunch stuff, and get ready to do your homework. Well, no, you got an hour of relaxation time, and then it's time for homework. Move! Stop being loud. I'm on video. Do you understand? And don't have the music blasted on that thing because I'm on here. Matter of fact, don't have any music while I'm on here. I'd really appreciate that. Okay. All right. Anyway, back to this. Um, kid make me forget stuff. Oh, I've got a quite a few questions of people asking questions about the housing things. And I'm going to see if I can answer a couple of those questions off the top of my head. Because like I said, I've not had a chance to like um, put together stuff i'll probably do a more in depth later but a couple of the questions i've gotten so far are how does the um like the housing how does it how does it work with paying your rent or whatnot and basically um it comes out of the um military members check every month um you'll see on your les and if anyone doesn't know what the les is i'll probably try to do a video on that later but the les is um Lee, LES stands for, everybody knows the military has their like acronyms and stuff. LES stands for a leaves and earnings slip. Basically, it, it basically gives you a whole breakdown every paycheck, which would be the 1st and 15th. Even though they say the 1st and the 15th, most times you get paid um, with certain banks you have, you'll get paid a little bit earlier. So it could be where it says the 15th, but you paid in the 14th. Or sometimes it's 12th if it's like on a weekend or something like that. But anyway... Leaves and earnings slip basically is a breakdown of um, everything that's taken out of your pay every time that the spouse is paid um, active duty. Or I'm not really sure how reserves works. Uh, my husband's active duty, so I'm not sure how reserve things work. But um, anyway, with the leaves and earning, it'll have um, if you guys with your um, insurance, the uh, I don't know why I was gonna say Medicare. I'm like I'm like sixty, but um, what? I'm trying to think of the word. I can't. I'm I'm missing the word right now. What word? The insurance. Oh my God! Like, what am I looking for? Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. 
I'm like not focused right now. You're moving my camera. Stop. Okay. Um. Anyway, it'll have the insurance. Tricare. Tricare. Like <laughs> Tricare. That's the word I'm looking for. It'll have Tricare up there and how much it takes out. My husband's text me. Um. He's gone again. In case anybody's wondering. Um. They're gone for a month. They're actually gone to Louisiana. And for their like JRTC stuff. Um, yeah, they're getting ready for deployment because he leaves later this year for nine month deployment. Anyway, back to leaving learning. Leaves and earning um, slip, that's what they call them. They, you do not get them. They do not send them to you in the mail. You do not get handed a copy um, while you at work like you do with some jobs. You have to go online to access your leaves and earning slip. It's going to be on something called MyPay. MyPay is um, the site that, that service members go on, and that's how they access their information for their pay. So if someone wants proof of how much they make, like let's say they're going to rent a house out in like civilian world or whatever, um, and they want like confirmation of how much you make in order for you to get your apartment or your house or your car that's trying to buy or whatever, um, you have to go on to MyPay, and you're going to have to print off your leaves and earnings slips. Some places you can show it to them. Um, some places um, they can look at it online and access it with you whenever you come there. You have to come there and show them the stuff, but they can see it there. But... Um, you do not get a hard copy of this. You only get it online, and they email it to, um, well, not email it. It's just put onto this lease and earning on my pay every payday. So, and it's really cool with the um, with the lease and earning because actually you can access it and um, see how much you're gonna get, which you should be getting the same amount. I don't know unless you have like loans and things, but um, the amount that you make overall, if you have. Um, certain insurances like a TRICARE or whatever you have that is called an allotment. An allotment is whenever they take a certain amount, you have set things that money comes out for every month. Whether it can be for retirement, it can be for an um, Roth account, it can be for an IRA, it can be for your um, insurance, it can be from a loan that you have gotten from one of the military's um, loan programs and repayment programs they have. Um, it can be for many things. But anyway, it breaks all that down. It shows you how much you make or how much you have made overall. They have made, you have made, whoever's made, how much was made. And then it shows you um, how much is out for your um, insurance, your loans, your savings, your like 401ks, your IRAs, your um, Roth accounts. Um, and then there's a spot up there also that has up there for your um, housing. And... Your money comes out, it's like where we're at right now, we're on Fort Bliss, and we live on Main Post, and we live in a three-bedroom, three-bath um, home. I, anyone else has seen my other videos, you'll see what the house looks like, but we live in Fort Bliss, as I said before, and we live on, on post housing, and we pay twelve twenty four a month, and with that, within that twelve twenty four, um, it pays for your electricity. Mom. I'm doing something. I can't turn the volume down. Well, you need to figure that out. I'm doing something. I can't. Okay, well, I need you to restart it. Sorry, she's somewhere a tablet. But it pays for your electricity. Now, with electricity, I will say this. They do have a certain amount that the um, is paid for up to a certain, pound, a certain amount. And then if you go over that amount, then you are billed for that amount that you're over. Um, it could be something like I've seen some people four dollars, two dollars, three dollars, twelve dollars, or more. But I mean, you gotta be doing like some serious stuff in order to have like an overage like that. Because like in our home, my kids, we have two kids. Anyone that's seen the videos, we have a fifteen-year-old and an eight-year-old. My kids love leaving lights on. They leave lights on when it's bright outside. And we live in El Paso, and it's, like, bright as hell here. And my kids will walk down the hallway when, like, it's glass everywhere and sunshine everywhere, and they'll turn the light on and just leave it on. But hey, Mom. you can have, like, the lights be <laughs> left on. My kids leave lights on all day. Um, it's hot as crap down here. It's April right now, and our air conditioner has been on since, like, February here. And... 
it's running 24 hours a day. We have ceiling fans running, tons of lights on. Um, and we have still never gone over our allotted, what they have allotted amount for us here. Mom, um, they will send, Mom, what? Where did you get the small potato chips from? I have them hidden. They're for your lunch. They're not for you just to eat them up. Back to what I was saying. Um, they have a certain allotted amount that you can go up to. I'm not quite sure what that is. Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. I actually have um, one of those statements I got in the mail today. Hold on. Uh. Okay, I'm back. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. They do send you um, it in the mail. Ours looks like... Ours looks like this. Hopefully you guys can see it. It always says utility bill enclosed, but it never is a utility bill enclosed. It's really not because on it, it will say mock bill. And um, let me see. I got to hide our, hide our like personal information on here. But ours always... looks like this hopefully I can see this um see this is amount due zero and um let's see it has a buffer amount lower amount upper amount anyway You'll get a bill like, well, not a bill. You get a mock bill like this in the mail. And basically, it's just showing you what you used and what range you're staying in. Because if you look at the bill, right? Doo -doo -doo. Hold on, my address is up there. Let me go down this way. Let me see if I can pull this back this way. You can see our address. Okay, there's like this little bar thing. Oh, come on. Doo -doo. Anyway, it's like this little bar thing right here. And on this little bar, it has credit due, which means if you stay within this amount, they'll send you a check in the mail. If you stay below a certain amount, they'll actually send you a check in the mail for staying below that amount. And that's like with the rent and other things because they kind of like a pre pay type of thing I think that's what it is so they basically take money that's the part that goes with your rent and then the other stuff and then they have like this pre of thing they think that you do with your um electricity or whatever and then if you like go stay under that amount then you'll get a check in the mail from them if you go over that amount then you'll have to pay them a couple dollars or whatever for electricity it's nothing serious the most I think I've seen was like 12 15 dollars that someone's had to pay um all together but yeah um they take like i said ours is like 1225 and they take half out at the beginning and they take the other half out on the second pay so the first the check on the first they take like 600 and something dollars out and then the second paycheck they take 600 and something dollars out so it's not like twelve hundred dollars all together in one check. You get like half of it then and half of it during the other end. Um so that like I said, that covers your electricity, it covers your water, um, it covers your rent. Um and I guess like maintenance with the neighborhood also that kind of like covers or whatever. Um, because there's usually like a maintenance crew that come in here about once a week and they like, we don't, we don't really have grass here in El Paso. It's kind of rocks. So I don't know what the heck they be out there blowing around with those weed blowers, but they be out there blowing something. Um, they have maintenance people, they come and they cut the bushes back. Most of the time the bushes are dead here because it's so dry, but yeah, there's bushes here. Mm -hmm. Um, and they cut the bushes back. They'll, um, blow off the driveways and. Um, different things like that. They'll clean up the trash because here in El Paso we have like a lot of like storms, sand storms and wind storms. And there's like all types of crap that blows around out there. You might have freaking clothes, paper, lawn furniture. Um, heck, like last sandstorm we had, um, my husband and I found like 
someone's um someone's like paperwork it had their social security number and their name on it like what <laughs> yeah I think it was like their in processing paperwork when like someone that just got here and in processing it had like their whole name their old social security number their address where they came from and I was like shocked like how in the heck does this even get out here I don't know but yeah um let's see besides that it, like I said, it pays for your rent, it pays for your water, it pays for your electricity. Um, it comes out on the 1st and the 15th. They take the money out of both of the checks, so don't worry thinking that $1,200 is coming out of your check at one time. Because it's not. Um, sorry, look at my dog. Um, what else was I going to say to y'all? Um... Oh, animals. You are allowed to have animals in um, military on post housing. You are, you are allowed to have them. I don't know. I feel like I'm feeling blurred again. Okay. You are allowed to have animals, but you're only allowed to have two animals. And it's like really weird how it works. Like they classify a fish tank as, as like one animal, but, but they do. Um, like a gerbil or something is classified as one animal, <laughs> but you're allowed to have two animals. Um, and it's pretty weird because right now it's a whole process that going through here at Fort Bliss. I think it's happened to other bases too, where the housing, the people that, because in the beginning, the military housing was like military was handling their own housing issues, but then they turned it over and let a private contractor take over military housing. Um, so that would take like, I guess a little bit of stress off of the military because they started letting like thinking that a private contractor might help the housing better, but it has turned out that's not been the case with um, military housing lately. So military housing is going through a lot of, like, issues and drama. Um, the private military housing, I know um, Betty Buford, 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 whatever they call it. Wait, who it knows? owns a huge percentage of military housing in different places, and it owns it here at Fort Bliss. And they're going through, like, a whole lot of issues right now where they're, like, the military, a lot of people have complained, not just here at Fort Bliss, but in, in a lot of different military housing developments, they complain because they're not um, doing maintenance on the houses like they're supposed to in certain areas. Our house, thank God, is, you know, pretty awesome. Like, we've not had any real issues with our house at all, except for, like, really small stuff, like, I think the doorbell stopped working. Which I need to call them about too. Which that sucks. Um, just very simple stuff with us. But there have been some people that have had like major issues. Like I know one of my friends lives in um, military housing, but it's like off post housing that she lives in. It's like here at Bliss, it's really weird because sometimes the military housing is off the main base, but it's still considered military housing. The MPs still drive around it, type of thing like that. But her housing, like they have like some really weird smell with the water. It smells like rotten eggs or something. And people have been complaining to the housing people, and they have been just kind of ignoring them and not fixing it. Um, yeah, that was a huge issue. Like, the people were washing their clothes, and it was smelling like that. They couldn't take baths. It was, like, really horrible. There are certain people who had, like, freaking, um, like, tree limbs and stuff growing in their houses. <laughs> and the housing people would just come and, like, patch something up or paint it back and then leave it at that. But, um... Yeah, and then, like, they were charging, like, anybody lives in the military housing knows that the private military housing people were charging military families, like, up the ass for stuff. Like, it would be small stuff, like a blind, they would want to charge you, like, $250 for a blind. Yeah, a blind, like, on your window, pull up, close down. They want to charge someone, like, $250 and they move out for it. Like, there have been families that have moved out. And the carpet in the housing is, like, horrible. Like, really horrible. Um, when we moved in our house, we had, like, the older carpet in our house. And a couple other houses have, like, older carpet. They were supposed to start putting new carpet in all the houses, and they hadn't. And so what they had started doing was they would keep moving families into the housing with the old carpet in and not put new carpet in. And then they would finally change the carpet, and they would charge the family that just moved out, like, a thousand dollars. I think there was one lady down the street that had to pay like fifteen hundred dollars for carpet for that housing. Um, 
just because like it's crazy stuff like they charge you for $1,500 to $2,000 for a carpet $250 for like a freaking shade that was broken um they were giving they were charging military families like these crazy prices like when we moved in they, it was like $250 per pet and that's one of the issues that the military had. Also, the military actually is making the housing people give people their money back or credit them their money back for the pet fees because according to the military, they were never supposed to charge family, military families for having their pets. They never agreed or never told them that they could charge $250 for people to have their pets. So people were charged $250 when they first moved into housing for their pets that was never supposed to be charged. Um, I know it's here at Fort Bliss. I'm not sure about other places, but I know here it was. Um, so the housing people, they kind of stuck their game a little bit. So now they're kind of like on top of stuff and they're really like, you know, dead in it with fixing things. Um, since stuff has been like broken and things have been going on because the military's kind of gotten their ass a lot about it lately. And I think they're actually getting, they might possibly be getting sued by the military for some of the things they're doing. I'm not sure, but I know like for instance, um, a couple weeks ago, they literally had like military officials come around to each person's individual house and knocked on everyone's doors and they spoke with everyone. So if like, you were not home when they came, they would leave a note and they would come back to your house. And when they came to your house, they did not bring any of the privatized, house, privatized housing people with you. They came by their self with just the military personnel, high ranking military personnel in their uniforms with paperwork. And they wanted to know if you wanted to show them something, the house that was broken, something they need to fix. And they went to the housing people about each individual house that was here and want to know what the problem was. Why were these things not being fixed? Because they were paying them to do things that they were not doing. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things going on with the housing. But anyway, you are allowed to have pets. You do um, not have to pay a fee. Because now, when people are moving in now, they're not having to pay that $250 fee. I'm still trying to figure out what they're doing with giving people their money back or crediting them for the $250 for their dogs and cats and pets or whatever they have. Still waiting to hear about that one. Um, but you are allowed to have pets. They do have a breed restriction, though. I'm not sure how much that has changed. I don't think it will change very much. I know, I can't remember all the animals that were on the list for breed restrictions that you're not allowed to have. Um, I will be honest, there are people that live in housing that have no, pets, no. restricted breeds, that they're not supposed to have, but they have them. She's pizza. That ain't in my business, though. But, um, of course, you know, they always have pit bulls on their oh, list, which I think is kind of sad, because pit bulls are not always bad animals. Like, I grew up with one, and they're pretty sweet dogs. It just depends on who raised them. I hate they got a bad name like that, but pit bulls. Um, they have like certain hybrids that are not allowed, like a wolf hybrid type dog. I can't even remember what the name of it was, but yeah. It's like some kind of wolf hybrid type dog that is restricted on post as well. Um, you can usually find the restriction list on whatever housing place you're going to on their website. Also, you do have to, you do not pay a deposit, but you pay, you pay something called prorated rent. I'll say that again. Pro-rated rent. And basically, that's like however many days that you're going to be in that house for that month, the rest of that month, that's what you pay for. Um, like us, we moved in like, well, we didn't move in. We were still in North Carolina. My husband got the house, but we were still in North Carolina until like the beginning of December. But um, my husband came, got our house at the middle of December. I mean, I'm sorry, November. And so we ended up paying like 600 and like, $13 or something like that we ended up paying for our housing um, that was the prorated rent amount we had to pay and then when that first um, when the first came they did not take money out on our first check we got after we paid the prorated rent but then the next check that came they started taking the 600 plus dollars out to equal the 12 25 that we need to pay every month Alarm! um trying to figure out where my dog is trying to climb underneath that chair and he, she's like huge but um yeah you will have to pray like a prorated rent it is not a deposit because you know a lot of like civilian places want you to pay first month rent a deposit first month and sometimes like first and second i don't know it's really weird how housing like civilian housing works um so far we've had a pretty good experience with 
military housing. Um, we have not really had any downfalls. I don't know what's going to happen when we move out. I've gotten kind of scared about whenever um, it's time for us to PCS to our next location because I've seen and heard the horror stories of how much people are charged for like really bogus crap whenever they move out like two three grand i've heard that some people have gotten charged for housing when they moved out of military housing it's kind of scaring me a little bit um even though since the military has stepped in the last like two months uh, right now we're going into pcs season it's april so we're going into pcs season so a lot of people are moving from where i'm at um, here on post, um, man, when I say like the way that they turn around these houses here and people move out is like insane. Like someone can move out on Monday and by like Thursday, someone else is living there. Um, but the last few people, like neighbors and stuff that have moved out here, um, they were saying that since you know the military been putting so much pressure on the housing people, they were not charging um, the tenants, the military families moving out. They were not charging them a whole lot of money for it, like they um, had been doing before the military got on their ass about it. So they have not been really charging people like that anymore. Yeah. Hope it's like that whenever we get ready to move out because I do know we're gonna be paying something because our dog like. She started eating the side of the house outside. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why. What I don't know what she was doing. She literally started eating the side of the like the patio outside. Um and yeah. So anyway, I'm going to end this video. If you guys have any more questions on the housing oh, things, Hopefully you guys will get back to me and let me know if you guys have any questions. Please don't hesitate to send me a message as um, I always get them and I love answering everyone's questions. I make sure I get back to each and every person when they send me a message. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see any other further videos, please um, don't hesitate to send me a message and tell me what you want information on and I'll be sure to make a video for you guys on it. Um, Again, this is Aviance, or AKA known as Miss Crandall, and I am out. Have a good day. Can you check out my channel, please?